Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are here at Marone River. I think that's how you pronounce it, Marone River, Bolivia. First time we have really been here, at least in recording. I did jump in momentarily just to take a look around and try my hand at catching a few fish, maybe a total of 20 minutes. In that time frame, I managed to actually catch, surprisingly enough... A unique red-bellied piranha. Very first thing I caught. <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. That's a great way to start it off. There he is. First unique. I'm sorry I didn't catch it while you guys were watching. I didn't think that was even going to happen. I managed a couple of few others. I caught another red-bellied piranha and, and a papa. A papa. That is not one I am really familiar with. The is a South American species of predatory freshwater fish found mainly in the Amazon and Orinoco basins. These highly aggressive fish swim mainly in large schools, hunting their prey close to the surface or in shallower areas. A papa closer resemble huge sardines. I was going to say they looked familiar, but sardines, yeah, kind of do. With their laterally compressed bodies and vivid golden coloration, dark backs, and upturned mouths, they can reach. A length of over 2.6 feet, with a maximum weight of around 11 pounds. Not bad. Yeah, I caught him with one of them with an Araku minnow and one with a popper. So, they are definitely predators. Um, never seen them before, but let's get a 3D look at them. That's what they look like. Very golden looking fish. But yeah, we are here, as I said. The Marone River, and this is the, let me show you on the map here, right up here at the top, where you spawn in the very first place. Now the boat dock's over here. I don't know, I don't think we're going to take the boat dock out this time. I think we're going to try to stay probably at this spawn point for the beginning just to see what we can catch and what's around here. Sadly getting a little bit of lag again. I don't know what the deal is with the lag, but I'm getting a little... Frustrated with that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I did some checking on some of the settings. Everything, the NVIDIA seems to be doing all right, but I don't know. It just seems like every now and then we get a frame rate drop, and it's starting to get a little irritating. Yeah, looking at this map where we are here. Now, the map you see in the main screen is actually. This is actually north and this is south. So basically, if you look at the map here, north is actually over here towards that registration part. So that's north, west is where we are right here. So we're in the westernmost aspect of the map. There are other spawn points here that look like they're really interesting. Like We'll take a quick scan through on these. Here's the boat dock where we have our boats moored. I've got my lucky boat as well as my frankenfish boat already set up to go. As you can see, the lag kicked right back in as soon as we came in here. If we go back to the map over here, this is the Lacardos village. It's real narrow here. Kind of makes me believe that this might be where the smaller species are to be found. Honestly, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of small species. Most of the fish here are good size. The Apaku. See, I think. Not mistaken. Some of the small species that are in here. The Jacunda is not real big. The Oscar's somewhat small. 
Red tailed barracuda. It's like I don't even think they get bigger than a pound. Yeah. Up to 0.7 pounds. But, you know, they're they're all kind of fear, you know, fierce little animals here. <laughs> the spotted Araku, that's what I was trying to think of. That I mean, there aren't really any small fish. So I don't know what in the world we would find here, but definitely somewhere down the line we're going to try fishing here and see what we can get. Of course, we can always take the boat and go to other areas because there's all kinds of little tributaries going up and down towards the, I guess, to be east. And we got this little big expanded area here with a little bit of cover over there. God only knows what's here. Let's take a look at the map if it's a deep point. Yep, there's a hole there. So there could be some decent sized catfish down in there. Could be just about any daggone thing down there. Now it looks like on the main part, if we got off of the, with the boat dock and came out here, it's really deep out here and there's little holes along the way through the tributaries. Any one of those can have some interesting species in them. This is what kind of gathers my interest here. This little spot down here, it's called Selva. Now this one's called Anku. Anku, Selva, none of these are easy names. This is the Kiri Islet, so it's an island in the middle of the river itself. And Selva interests me because, well, it's off by itself like a little lagoon. Little shallow lagoon. Could have some kind of monster in here, you know? Some monster ass fish. <laughs> Who knows? Well, let's go back up here and keep it simple if we can. Start where everything starts, and that's right here. You know, you're here when you see the red barrel in the boat. Now, looking at the map. Looks like we've got some deep areas here. Now. I might not know all the species here, but I do know where catfish hang out. This would be a great spot to set up for catfish because we've got a deep hole right over here. And we can set up all three of our rods. Well, let's make sure that I have my... Okay, so I am going towards the north. This is north. So to get closer to the hole, we need to come over here. Should be able to have no problem casting into it, but I might put some markers out there just so that I can place it. Kind of get a center center point. So let's go ahead and put a marker there. Always good to do. Let's put it, let's see, right here in the center. Well, it's not too far out, and it, you wouldn't know it was deep just by looking at it. Doesn't look a whole lot different from the rest of the river. So we can actually put them over here. I'm pretty sure we can reach it without any problem. Now, as far as the peak's going, the peak is actually coming out of it. So, not sure how well we'll do, but I think we'll go ahead, we'll set up things. Heck is that? <laughs> Strange sound. Alright. Now we've got our bottom rods over here. Now, I just kind of went in, I went ahead and set up all my gear. It took me a while to get everything set up for this. Because I wanted to be able to maximize and get the best out of it that we could possibly get. I checked all the species sizes. Realized that real, using feather lights and stuff like that, while we might be able to use it for maybe one or two species for the most part, there aren't any small species here. So we're better off to stick with bigger rods. And that's exactly what I did. So we're going after big fish. Like I said, it cost $1,800 and $500 to get here. So we need to get as much money as we can. We've only got $1,000. We've got to pay for this trip. We've got to pay for the trip and we've got to pay for the licensing. <coughs> that is important to do every day. Every day we got to pay $10,000 for licensing. So we've got to, we've got to catch some fish. The money... 
the money farming for fish is probably going to be catfish. That's my guess. So, on here we've got, I just kind of did a standard four odd hook. We're going to start with that. Now, the uh, Papa, no, I keep wanting to say a Papa. Looking at the right, Araku minnows are used often here. I don't have a ton of those, so I'm going to try some catfish stuff to see what we can get. And we're going to stick with the four odds for now, and if we need to upsize them, we will. But I think for the first one, I'm going to go ahead and I want to place blood on that. For this one. Let's try the dead lumberry fish. For this one, we're trying to get, let's try freshwater prawns. In meat chunks, or muscle meat, muscle meat. Good catfish catching stuff here. Catfish fair. We just need to get anywhere within this vicinity here. I've never fished with the dead Lombari fish. I'm kind of curious to see how well they do. Holy crap, already? Getting bites already, that's a good sign. Freshwater prawns. Wow. Well, let's see what this one is because it's already going off the charts. This is blood bait. And we got us a trophy ripsaw catfish. Alright, we've gotten those before, so we can take a look at something else here. Holy crap, we, oh, we've got something really big here. This is off the dead Lombari fish. We might lose that one, guys. I'm sorry, but I want to see what this one is. I don't know what that sound is, but it sounds a lot like a jaguar. Holy crap, I think we might have us a red-tailed catfish, which means we have got a huge, huge fish. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, we're going to need the net for this fella. Nope, we got him. New personal record, of course. 41 pounds. Regular size, so this is not a, this is not a trophy or unique. These are the monsters of this waterway, guys. These are the biggest fish he found here. I'll give you an idea. We'll take a look at him. There they are. Red-tailed catfish. We caught them in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour on the Thailand map. That's just regular size, guys. $1,800 just for him. What did I catch him with? The dead Lombari fish. Yep. And we're going to have to re-throw out our other rods because we did lose this one. But I wanted to get him in for sure. And I want to mark where I found him because I want an actual marker. Red tail catfish. First one. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't think they're found in any of the maps. I don't believe they were on Amazonia Maze or Maku Maku. Some of the species are. Alright, let's see. Let's get the marker that I put. Pretty close. I was pretty close. Okay, let's get rid of that. Leave the good one up. 
now I have a good marker. Blood bait actually did pretty good too. Surprisingly enough. I'll just give me get out one of my other rods, but I don't think we're gonna have time to do that. I think we're gonna get enough bites to keep this going. This is off of muscle meat. Um, I think that's one of those silver, yep, a trophy silver croaker. Wow, definitely see why they're called silver. They are so silver. <laughs> he is shiny. <laughs> like he's made of silver, all right. So he went for, what did he go for? Muscle meat. Hmm. We'll keep at it and keep throwing them in the same locations because it seems like we are doing really well. Almost to the point where it's hard to keep up. The prawns did really well, but unfortunately, they got the bait. Couldn't pull in two fish at the same time. Dead Lombardi, I'm going to put that right where I had that other marker. Already, just off this blood bait. Now, this was, we did pull in these guys. Now, this is a trophy flat whiskered. Caught a lot of them over Maku Maku. Caught a lot of them on the Amazonian maze. Not worth a lot of cash, but get enough of them. Okay, we got freshwater prawns using here. Could be another flat whisker. Nope, ripsaw catfish. Ripsaw catfish are easy to catch too. You get a lot of those. About twice as much cash as the flat whiskered. They're very ancient looking fish, are they not? They look like they almost sturgeon like. See what we got here, guys. We got something on this one for sure. Off the muscle meat again, and we got something on every rod. And there's a sorbun catfish or a tiger sorbun. So called because of the stripes. I can't keep up. So much activity, it's crazy. Okay, here we go. This one, I'm thinking we might have another red tail. We get enough of the red tails, we are definitely going to make our money. But they seem to have a sweet tooth for the dead Lombardi fish. And we're not even in the peak of the day, and we haven't fished at night yet, either. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking we have us another red tail or something. This guy is fighting hard. We're almost maxed out on our gear here, so we can't put any more pressure on him. I'm just guessing this is going to be a good spot. I had no idea. First hole I saw, and I thought, should be catfish. Catfish may be found here. Come on. And this guy is not coming in easy. Holy crap. We're going to need the net for him for sure. Let's see. I don't think he's a regular size of anything. He's got to be at least a trophy something. Come on, fella. Damn. 
Is he a gilded? I think he is. I think he's a gilded catfish. Trophy gilded. Holy crap. Thirty three fifty two. That's what we're talking about. That's the good money here, guys. Twenty nine oh three XP. That's gonna help a lot. Let's take a look at this guy. Now that's as big as they come in Maku Maku Lake, but I believe they come in unique here. I'm going to put a marker for him too. Might be real right next to the other one, but I'm still going to do it. I have to decide which of these pictures I'm going to go ahead and post. <laughs> I don't know which. Both of them are good. I'd love to get a unique red tail. That's going to be a battle if I get one. Those are going to be battle we can talk about trophy gilded catfish that is a monster and he isn't as big as they can come okay let's see if we can put another marker practically on top of each other so that is the hot spot, guys, right there. Hot spot for catfish. Many types. Let's see. Now, we've used blood. Have not used canned meat yet, or chicken liver. Now, the Kamu Kamu and the Marish Palm Fruit, the Pickled Warari. That's for the Tembiqui, and we are going to try for them, but I don't think they're going to be found in the holes. I think we're going to have to find them somewhere else. Not quite sure where just yet. Not sure where we're going to find them, but I guess we'll have to do trial and error and see what we get. Catfish are easy to locate. Find the nearest hole, but some of these others, I may have to, you know, find them through trial and error, or maybe... You know, do a little research. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and change this up. We'll put something else on here. Other than that, we'll try the canned meat. I've only got four of them left. I like to see what might go for it. Now for rod number two, we already know that's a good choice. We're just going to keep it as it is. Red tails in the gilded both went for it. Since changing success, let's see, not that we weren't having success with other things. Chicken liver, that's another good choice. For the fourth rod, we were catching fish with the muscle meat, but they weren't monsters. So let's see here. What else could we try to use? I'm thinking maybe, maybe meat chunks or duck muscle meat or huge cut bait. We could try huge cut bait. Not used huge cut bait before. Put that downstream a little bit for some of the other stuff. Now, I also happen to have this uh, Krampus horn. This is just for sm the smaller species found here. I can use a little bit lighter lures. Try to capture them with this. And on this one, I've got a pretty heavy-duty casting rod. Got a major popper in there right now. Four. That is huge cut bait. Uh, 
Another silver croaker. Okay, this is a chicken liver. Chicken liver is good, always. I don't care where you are, what country you're in. That is always a good one to eat of choice. And there's another silver bim catfish. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty fish. A really gorgeous fish. I wish I could get a bigger one so I could hold it in my hands. So you could really see the markings better, but... Alright. Here we go again. Dead Lombari. Might put that on the bigger rod, honestly. This is... Every time I've been using this, I've been getting some monster fish. I think we got us another gilded catfish again. Maybe. It might be red tail. Might be red tail. I don't know. Let's see here. He's big. Come on. <laughs> don't be shy. It is a red tail. Even bigger than last time. 1878, 42 pounds. Really couldn't get a good look at him. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be the picture, though, guys. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty fish? That is not even as big or even as close as big as they can get. Holy crikeys. Yeah, I would suggest when you first come here, this is just my suggestion. I would first come here and I would, well, this is obviously one good hole that we know of. But I would check as many of the holes as you can if you get bored with one or the other. And then fish them for a while and get as much cash as you can. Ooh, this is the meat. That way you pay for everything and get much cash as you can then do some exploration that's what I would do that's what I'm going to plan to do I'm going to probably do this recording and then I'm going to probably do some I guess farming the way to call it XP and money farming that way I can get my funds back up where they were and we can pay for these this trip let's see we got another gilded Yep, I think we do. Another gilded. This is just regular size. That's still 1244. Still 523 XP. Not bad at all. See, I'm holding him in my hands. I don't know where the cutoff is between when you start holding them in your hands or where you hang them up in the air for standing. I like it better here because you can get a better view of the entire fish. But yeah, there's really no way in the world with as many bites as I'm getting here that I could do some regular fishing or float fishing there's just not enough time I'm pulling them in one right after another the one thing I do want to do I do want to switch this off I want to take this one put this one switch them around large cut bait was fine let's just put it on the smaller rod the Dead Lombari, and I think I'm also going to size up the hook. So that was one of my tests here, was to see just what was going to go for what. And I'm going to put a Captain Hook 7 odd on here. See if I can't get the interest of a big red tail catfish, because that's what I really, really want. They want to want what I really, really want. That would a unique 
Red-tailed catfish would probably pay for this whole trip. I'm just guessing. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I think I might start upsizing the hooks on all these. See if we can get seven on there. Just keep that same bait. Not that I have anything against the flat whiskers ones, but they just don't bring in the cash that I need right at the moment. I'm probably not going to use a cap and hook for that, but I am going to size it up a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I want a barbless hook. Yeah, let's put a barbless hook on there. That was... Oh, I forgot, sometimes they drop the baits. Actually, let's put... Put meat chunks on there and see what they do. Just for giggles. Just for giggles. This is a barbless hook, so it should get a little more XP if I get a fish on it. And caught, caught on it. Let's see. And the last one... I'm just going to size the hook up. I'm going to make it a 6 out. Let it go with that. Put that one a little closer. We have definitely got something on the second one. This is the meat chunks, guys. Just threw them out just as a test. Did go with a bigger hook. Marvelous hook, got another silver croaker. So we could go a lot bigger, honestly. Oh boy, okay. Did you see that go all the way to red? Holy crikeys. I remember this. Here is only as strong as your weakest link, and on this it just happens to be your leader. Yeah, I don't have anything better than like a 63 pound leader. So this fella, whatever he may be, and I think he's another red tail, the big one is a big one. I don't know if he's going to be unique, but at least going to be a trophy. That means he's going to be some bucks. Holy crap. Is a big old... Look at him down there. I can see him easily. I'm going to lose some of the others, unfortunately. I hate when I have to lose a fish. Because I'm trying to get another one in. Sometimes this gets them in a little bit faster. If you do this up and down thing. You can also lose it too. So be careful. Well, hell, we lost the fish. Well, now we really do have to get him in. Ah, oh, come on, big fella. Almost, man. He is so stinking strong. There we got him. We got him. That's a trophy. That is a trophy, my friends. That isn't even a unique yet. 5293. 98.551 pounds. This is just a trophy, guys. We haven't even gotten the uniques yet. Let's take a look. Holy crikey. That is a fish. Nice. Very nice. This is just the trophy, guys. Oh, man. 
98 pounder. Definite picture. Trophy 52.93 cash. And we've got one another one biting again. So let's see what the heck this one is. Before we... God bless it. Couldn't let it back. Couldn't get it to let go. There we go. Okay, this is chicken liver. I don't think it's that big, whatever it is, but... Another ripsaw. Ripsaw catfish. Well, the dead Lombari, definitely worth using. I think I lost this canned meat. No, I didn't. I'm sure I would have lost it. Yeah, I think we're going to try one more time here, guys. What we have. One more time, as I always say. And for this one, I might even size it up even more. Like, let's take it up to a 10 up. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just see. Anything is big enough that can take that down. But yeah, when I first came out here, I just... Brought this out and I just threw it right out here in front of me. Let it float down. Caught a unique red bellied piranha right off the pad. But there's no time to even do that. Flat whiskered. Holy crap, I'm even getting a bite off of this. Now, I have not been here before, like I said. But I tell you, I'm glad I'm here. This may be a great place to do some serious leveling. You're definitely getting some major bites, major fish. Something is chasing after this Ericu minnow. Look at it. Come on. Don't just scare the minnow. Grab him. Or chase the minnow. That'll work too. There he goes. And yeah, I might have another piranha. I'm a piranha. Nope. Here we go. A, pa a papa. That's an apapa right there, guys. Yeah, they do like those Aracu minnows. About 40 inches, 4 odd hook. It's the second one I've caught that way, so... If you want to get one, that's one way. There. Right off here at the first spawn point. Alright, let's see. And meet again. We have another flat whisker catfish ripsaw. Nope, it's a ripsaw. Daylight is really looking good right now because you can get a real good look. There's not so much redness to the sun. Strange sounding animals in this place. <laughs> Wow. 
No shortage of action. Wait, turn around. <laughs> Okay, what have we got here? This is a little bit bigger. It's off a six odd hook. Whatever this is, it's maxing out the gear pretty good. I think it might be another red tail, just a regular size one. Our net. B2053, 46 pounds. We are going to have no problem paying for our trip, but we are out of that bait, which is fine. I actually wanted to get rid of it all. Tons of other stuff we can use. It gives us a little more room in our inventory, too. Might get rid of this crawfish, too. I had some that were just a little leftover stuff, and I wanted to see if I could get rid of them. Because I want to use some of this other stuff, the more local baits. Oh, I hope that's a big one. Please, come on, let that be the big one. Remember, that's a Captain Hook 10 aught, guys. If something bites that, it's going to be big. All right, I'm gonna have to grab that. That is the crawfish, I believe. Nope, meat chunks. This is meat chunks, not a monster. I think it's another sorbim catfish. Yep, 33. This is the big rod, guys. So, okay, we've got. Not as big as that one, but he's got some power too. Could be a trophy or could be on the upper end of the other common size scale. I think it is a red tail. I can see, you can kind of see that white belly. Once you see that, you're like, oh yeah. It is a red tail catfish. But no, actually it's a gilded catfish. I was mistaken. 1501, regular size. Jeez. Just called that now, didn't I? I'm just out of curiosity here, guys. See, what are we up to? 25103. 25103. We needed 18500 to pay for the trip. Now, it was 10000 to license ourselves. So, we haven't paid for everything, but we've almost paid for everything already. Let me see, what time is it? Nine AM? <laughs> Granted, we are losing the peak, but we still have the night peak, and the night peak has it's really big in three AM, so that could be a time to catch something like one of those uniques. I have a feeling right now is not the time for the uniques. But just since I've been, re you know, I caught a few small ones, but the majority of the money that I caught was just with here with you guys. And you saw how fast. You spend some real time on here. The only thing that's going to slow you down for getting cash is the size of your net, really. Well, looks like we definitely got something on there. Like I said, there's really not enough time to do anything else. Really just a matter of reeling these fish in, one after another. Sometimes you cannot keep up with it all. Trophy Ripsaw at 1300. 
that should have brought us over the mark that should have paid for our trip and our licensing right there done by 9:42 a.m. how's that not bad huh not bad at all but yeah this is what you got to do guys you got to come in here you got to really get your money earned up then do your exploration it's just Kind of par for the course. I'm just playing around with this one, but I think I'm going to have to bring it in. It's just too much activity over here. It was off the crawfish. Doesn't look very big. Probably a flat whiskered or silver croaker. Yep. Just about everything here comes in unique sizes, so there's only like maybe a few species that do not. Red tail barracuda and something else. What it was, honestly. Let's see here. Papa does, the Biara does, the Brycon does, Butterfly Peak Ice Bass does, Light Whiskered Catfish. The Gilded Cat, Jukunda, the Oscar, the Payara, the Red Tail, Red Peacock Bat. I want to see those. I haven't seen one yet. Yeah, see that one only comes in common. Red Belly Piranha. We already got the unique Red Eyed Piranha. Red Tail Catfish. We got the common trophy now. Ripsaw Catfish. Common and trophy now. Silver Croaker. Common and trophy now. Still haven't got the trophy or unique of the Sorbin. Spotted Eriku. Tambiqui. Thanks to Tambiqui being in a lot of money, though. A lot of money if you can get them. And so did the Trahira or the Wolffish. Yeah, the only one. They all come in common, trophy, or unique, with one exception Red Tail Barracuda. That is it. Only one that does not. I don't even know how to find these guys. Wolffish or tigerfish? These are some serious predators here. These are probably the biggest of the predatory, the biggest of the predatory fish here, next to the red tail catfish. But I would really qualify this more as a predatory. These guys are predatory if they need to be. Most of the time, they're bottom feeders. But yeah. Lots to be had here, guys. Lots to be had. And we're getting some action over here on the big rod. Love to see if we can get something really big out of here. But we're really, this episode's really getting long, and I have a tendency to do that anymore. I just get so into catching the fish for you guys that I just. Want to keep going and keep going. So it's second, I know, third. Okay, second for sure. He's on there. Another flat whiskered. I'm going to put that away. How much of my net have I filled up? How much space do I have left? Okay, so I've got about half the net weight left. One unique red tail could probably fill that darn net, though. Something has just been pecking at that last rod, and it's really frustrating the heck out of me. Because I want to end this, if I could, catching something really huge. Not that I haven't already caught something really huge, but still. It's like they're teasing me.
is that sound? That is really weird. I guess another rip saw. Come on. You're really going to do that, right? Well, guys, in all honesty, it is getting really low in the peak. If you come over here and take a look here, as you can tell, things are slacking down. If you really want to pick up the pace, we're going to need to probably forward it night probably around 3 a.m. and I bet you it's gonna get crazy gonna get weird gonna get weird but I think this is a good place to end it I wish I could get one more big one for you guys but I'm not so sure it's gonna happen before these guys quit on me again Let's see here it's not bad not bad not bad Don't know how big he is yet. Can't really tell what he is yet either. Under that low light, I think it is. Yep, it is red tail catfish. Another 1880. Got rid of our crawfish. That was the last of our crawfish, so. Flat whiskered. And one that kept pecking at that is just not going to go for it, is it? <laughs> oh well, that's alright. We did extremely well. Let's take a look at this darn thing. 29 to 13. So what we needed was. 18,500 for the trip, 10,000, so we needed 28,500. So we have paid for the trip already. But that is good. That is good. Now, anything you get from here is pure profit. And if you could spend enough money and spend enough time here and get enough background profit. Then you can do some serious exploration and see just what you can catch and where you can catch it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Come on, do it, do it. <laughs> Little. He is doing it. He's teasing me. He's out there and he's trying it. And he's trying to, to tease me, guys. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. <laughs> Come on. I tell you what, I'm going to sit here. And if that goes blue, I am going to grab this son of a gun. Yeah, guys, I would have some few choice words for this fish, but he is definitely teasing me. Yep. Well, I think it's going to be better to come back later, and that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Like I said, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, guys. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.